Go look right, go down. I can't. Which one are you? <laughs> All right, guys. Good to see everyone. Thanks for joining me for class tonight again. Um, we're going to go over tonight. We're going to work on some basic attack, defense, return. Okay, we're going to look at some basic defense that you guys can do at home, shadow boxing on the bag with a partner, without a partner. Especially working on the checks tonight. Okay, focused on the concept of attacking. When something comes back at us. Hopefully we defend it. If we don't defend it, we're at least returning right away afterwards. So we're being effective and we're showing that that strike didn't have effect on us. Everyone good on that? Um, like I said, we're going to focus on using our checks to block the low kick and the middle kick, and then we'll fire back off of that. Offense, defense, returns. Right? Hands together, feet together. Cody Cup, good to see all you guys. Let's get our heart rates going here. Let's start to warm up. As always, we'll start with 30 seconds of jumping jacks followed by another exercise when I switch, okay? Jumping jacks to start. Ready, begin, let's go. seconds. Five seconds. Push-ups. Here we go. Push-ups. This is not about the number you get. Give me good quality push-ups. Focus on good range of motion, good stability here with the arms, with the shoulders, with your trunk. Ten seconds. Nice job, Scott. The knuckles on the wood floor. Gangster. Pop up. Back to our jacks. Let's go. Very nice. Switch your footwork up this time if you haven't yet. Go front to back. Change patterns with your arms. Nice son, exactly. Nice, Mari. All right, nice, Mikey. Mikey's got some rhythm. Mount climbers, let's go. Back flat, butt down. Drive those legs, drive those knees up the middle. Nice, Nate. Once again, this is about form right now. Continuation of our warm up. 
10 seconds, increase the speed just a little bit. Nice Steph, good Rachel. Nice form, Patrick. Back up into our jacks, last set, let's go. Last set, last set. Should be starting to feel warm here. Nice Haley. Nice Jackie. 10 seconds. Okay, just like we did last time. Watch my arms. Make a T. Out in front. Overhead. Out in front. T down. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 On your own, 20 more seconds. A little faster, please. Good, good range of motion here. A little faster, 10 seconds. A little faster, very nice, good will. Time into our checks, please. Pick those blocks up. Knee to the inside of the elbow. Strong block. Build your shield. No space there. Incorporate your cross blocks as well. Long knees. Good form here. Deeps. Good extension. Counter bounce with the arm. Sit with the ball of the foot. Come back to a strong stance. Coach Danny Chacon, what's up, brother? Good to see you, sir. Dan and Rachel. Straight punches, continuous, full extension. Knuckles over, back to the eyebrows every time. Hooks. Straight pivot with the lower body. Opposite hand tight into the foam. Uppercut, shoe shine. Bend your knees, roll your shoulders. Sit in that stance a little bit. Chin level here. Elbows, open the hands, one elbow at a time. Cover high with the free hand. Return to balance after your elbow. You're elbowing with that lead side, step. Okay, straight punches again, full speed, 10 seconds, go. Max it, push. Nice, Lisa. Good, Jackie, there we go. Nice, Coach Dustin. Hooks for power, let's go. Tense in your core here, lock your core. Good, Carlo. Opposite hand tight, into the phone. Very nice, Patty. Good, Ed. Nice, Allie. Uppercut, shoe shine, full speed, 10 seconds, go. Let it rip. Come on, push. Nice, Mikey. Good, Chino. Good, August. Go, go, go. Good time. Shake it out. Very nice, guys. Okay. Let's shadow box just a little bit to finish out here. What I would like to see from everyone, I'll limit our weapons as always. We'll kind of layer this as we go. I always like to start with defense. So add all of your defense in off the bat, right? Should be checking, long block. Lean back, you guys did Danny's class last night. Slipping shots, okay? But right now, the only offense we have is our lead hand. Lead punch, lead elbow. Everyone good on that? Lead hand offense, lead arm, all your defense, go. Good balance. Jab, work some combinations with that lead hand. You got a lot of punches, you have a lot of elbows.
Good. Lead teeth as well. Incorporate the teeth. Lead hand, lead elbow, lead teeth. Still want to see you guys block with the rear leg. Pick that check up on the back side. Don't forget about the body with the punching. Put the left hook to the liver. Nice, Lisa. Add in your rear knee. Rear knee. Baby T. Fake. Knee. Jack. Knee. Elbow. Got a lot of options here. Good. Add in the rear hand. We have both hands, both elbows. Lead team, rear knee. Nice, Patrick. Good, good. Good, Rachel. Very nice. All weapons in. Last 30 seconds. All weapons. Nice, Brandon. Remember, balance. Dennis, what's up, man? Good to see you, sir. Balance, number one. Good clean technique here. Rhythm. Good, nice son. 10 seconds. Ten burpees, go. As soon as you finish your burpees, stand up for me, please. Great job, guys. Once you guys finish your burpees, grab a shot of water if you need it. And then you're gonna gear up with your appropriate gear. Gloves, if you're by yourself, on a heavy bag, shadow boxing. If you have a partner, gloves, shin guards. If you don't have that gear for your partner, gloves and tie pads. Let's all gear up with what we have. Take about a minute and a half, and then let's get rocking, please. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and listen in. Let's get started here, please. You guys can all see me. Everyone say hi to Abby, wave to Abby. She's here with us too. Okay, here's what I would like to start, okay? As always, this first round, we take a minute just to sync up with whatever it is. Our own body, the bag, the pads, our partner. Okay, so take your time this first round. Two punches, followed by a middle kick on either side, okay? If you're shadow boxing, I want you guys to really focus on good footwork, maybe think first, punch, finish with your kick, reset, okay? A little bit of timing in between, maybe pump your jab to find your range. Same thing if you're hitting the bag. You can touch your team to reset, find your range. If you guys have a partner, just kind of go back and forth, right? Abby will go two punches. She'll kick to finish on the arms, and then I'll go one, two, kick to finish, reset. If you have a paddle holder, paddle holder call a combination, show a kick on either side for them to go on. Everyone good? Two punches, finish with the middle kick on either side. On three, one, two, three. If you guys are shadow boxing, I really want to see some feints before. If you're hitting the bag, faint before, use your teeth, use your jab. 
what we call our probes. Probe a little bit. Nice, Rachel. Nice August, good extension. Nice Will, watch your exits on your kicks guys. Make sure we're clean coming back. Nice Nate. If you guys are shadow box, remember I want to see some feints before you go. Break up your rhythm here a little bit. Good Chino, nice. Now reset the bag. Use either with your jab or your post or your teeth, right? When the bag is moving, use a weapon to reset it. Find your range again and then go. Nice, Adam. Good, good, good. Find your rhythm again before you go. Good time. Check it out, guys. Very nice. Okay, let's add on here, please. We're gonna start to add the defense. So, what do we talk about a lot in class? The middle kick scores, they're gonna try to look to return with something to even that score back, usually a middle kick of their own, right? We play tit for tat, okay? So I want you guys working on picking up the check now afterwards, right? If you're shadow boxing, you kick, try to come back, pick up your check right away, or swing through if you want and pick up your check. You guys can even kick halfway in return and pick up your block here if you guys want to do that. Kick, return, check off of that if you guys want to do. That's okay. Bad, kick, come back, pick up a check on either side. If you have a partner, obviously the drill can be a little bit more reactive, right? If I call Jack Cross for happy, she kicks, she can react to either side and pick her block up on that side. So we're going now from offense to defense. We use our punch combination to off balance our opponent. We score our middle kick. When they try to return back with a kick of our own, we shut down with a nice strong block. Make sure the chat comes all the way up to the inside of the elbow. No space there. Everyone good? On three. One, two, three. Go. Nice, Lisa. If you guys spin through on your kick, shadow box, and get your head around fast. Get your eyes back to the target right away. Nice, Mari. Good faint, Stephanie. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Nice, Brandon. Nice, Liana. And time, all right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna explore a couple options off of the check now, okay? Remember, keep in mind the concept that we're creating here. We've scored first. We landed the kick clean. They try to return. We've shut down already. So now let's look to maybe return with something better and off balance, really trying to kind of pile those points on and really show that compound effect here, okay? First one I like just to show some good balance here is I want you guys to check and then teep right off of that if you can. Okay, so it should look like this. If Abby kicks and she scores, let's say I return here and she checks, she's gonna teep right off of that leg and disrupt. 
So what she didn't do there is set the foot down. That's ideal. You guys need to for a brief second. You can check, stop, and then drive on the team. That's fine. Okay, so watch. She scores. I kick, she stomps, and then drives into the team. You can generate a little bit more power off of that. One more option you can go with here is you can check, and then you could return with the opposite side team if you wanted. If you're having trouble with the balance, go with the rear leg on this. Okay? So if she kicks, I kick here, she checks, she can set down and return with it on that side as well. So ideally, we check and we teep right off. We can also check, bounce, and go, or we can check, step, and go with the opposite side leg as well. Offense, two punches and a kick. Defense, check the return kick. Return, finish with the tee. Everyone good? On three, one, two, three. Let's go. Balance, Jessica. Ooh. Nice, Mikey. Nate, go again. Punch, score your kick. Middle kick, score your middle kick. After your punch, give me the middle kick. Yes, sir. Good. Now check. And T. Beautiful. Yes, very good. Exactly. Nice, guys. 30 seconds, please. Try to play with all three variations if you want. See which one feels best for you. None are wrong, none are right. It's about efficiency, it's about balance, it's about what works best for your body. It's about what you can pull off. Nice, Ed. Nice, Carlo. Good, 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 good. And time, check it out. Very nice, guys, good. Okay, let's change up our return here off the check, okay? Now we're gonna punch first off of this, okay? Traditionally, we normally block and then we kick off because we're in a taller kicking stance. You see a lot of times when people dust block, they're in a shorter stance here, double forearm block, when you block here, it's very hard to kick off of the stance just because of how low you are. It's not wrong necessarily, right? You're just talking about body mechanics. It's easier to kick from a shorter, taller stance. It's harder to kick from a, a wider stance, a wider, longer stance where I'm, I'm sitting low. Okay, just one small detail here. We're gonna continue to check, but we are gonna punch off of it now. We still have that option, okay? So what I'm looking for now off of the block is stepping into two punches, and then finishing with the knee underneath. So this is a really good option if you're more of an inside fighter. Abby throws her kick and I check it. I can step in and punch and then I can attack with my knee underneath. She kicks on this side, I block it, I punch, I finish with my knee underneath. So I use that opportunity to step in and really attack behind me. I still want a nice strong block off of the kick. So I'm gonna change the drill. Just a little bit. We're gonna go two punches right into our check. So I'm gonna punch Abby here. She's gonna return with a kick. I block it, I step in, and then I score my knee. Does everyone see it? One more time. Two punches, kick comes at me, I block it, I step down, I score my knee to finish. Punch, check, punch, knee to finish. Offense, defense, return. Everyone good? On three, one, two, three. Let's go. Nice. 
I want to see you guys really step down off the check into those punches. Think about taking space away. Nice, Coach Dustin. Very good, guys. Manuel, turn your camera on. Let me see. Good to see you, man. Pedro, what's up, my friend? You guys. If you're doing class, turn the camera on so I can check some technique and see your face. All right, guys, let's add one more piece here. Just because we live, we're inside zone one now, let's chain these weapons together. Finish with an elbow off of that knee now, please. Everyone good? We use the knee to attack the midsection. We bring the elbow over the top to finish. So let's take a look one more time at the combination here, okay? Two punches first, we have cross. We block the kick by checking. Come forward with two punches. Finish with the knee, elbow over the top. The knee to the midsection sets up our elbow over the top. One more time. Cross hook, jack, punch, knee, elbow. Very nice. Everyone see it? Finish it with the elbow on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Remember, if you guys are shadow boxing still, faint before your punch combo. Work on your feints. Give me a hip faint, hand faint. Leg raise, hit, hand, leg, and then fire off. Good. One thing we can be doing during this time is fainting off. Faint at your dog and cat. See how they react to you. Nice, Mikey. Land that elbow. <laughs> Dan, very nice, sir. Good. Beautiful. See you, Rachel. Check. Fire back. Knee to the midsection. Finish with the elbow. Beautiful. Very good, guys. We have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Adam, let's see it on the back, sir. Good. Check. Return. Knee sets up the elbow. Beautiful. Good. Come back to a strong stance to finish, guys. Let's see it, George. Check. Punch. Score your knee. Finish with your elbow. Nice. Very good. Nice exit out, George. Beautiful. Looking good, guys. Couple more. Good, Dennis. Score your knee, finish with your elbow. Beautiful. You guys are on a bag. After you finish the combination, reset your range. Jab or team a couple times before you start the combination again. Use your pros. Couple more, couple more, couple more. Let's go. You guys are shadow boxing. Extra focus here. Use your feints. Remember, sometimes double feint, hand feint, hip feint, leg raise. Get a couple steps ahead if you can. Very nice. Good, good, good. Time. 10 burpees, followed by 10 push ups. Let's go. 10 and 10. Burpee to push up. Get them done. Once you finish your push-ups, pop up, get your breath. Nice, Carlo. Stand up so I know you guys are done. Good job, guys. Nice work, guys. Once you finish, pop up, get your breath. Stand up so I know you're finished. All right, guys, great job.
So we played with just a couple options off the check, okay? As always, we attack, something comes back at us, hopefully we defend it. If we don't defend it, if it hits the arms, right, or if it hits the midsection, we still want to return with something. Remember, Muay Thai scoring is about effect, okay? If I score a kick and then I check my opponent's kick afterwards, looks really good to the judges that I shut them down. It's also really important, even if the kick lands, let's say I score a kick and I'm not ready and having kicks clean underneath my body after that, I have to return back with something right away and show that that kick did not affect me. Even in my head, if I go, oh shit, that really hurt, right? I feel it in my ribs. I have to show that it didn't bother me at all. And Muay Thai fighters are really good at that, right? Land a clean kick here under my arm. So I need to come back with something right away and attack and show it had no effect on me. But the second that kick lands, right? If I do this, go, oh, and even if my arm starts to come down, one, my opponent knows, okay, I hurt them. I found a crack in the armor. And two, the judges go, okay, that kick affected them. That's a big score for them, right? So even if something lands clean, if we're able to not show it on our face and how what we follow with, we're probably going to get away with it. Doesn't matter what's happening up here, what's happening here, right? We have to show otherwise to our opponent and to our judges. You also have to look at it. If they land a clean kick and it doesn't phase me, that's demoralizing, right? If I kick someone clean and they don't do anything or they come back, I'm like, oh shit, what do I have to do to this person, right? You wanna be that real aggressive, not showing anything still a face when you're fighting despite what's happening up here, okay? Guys, let's finish with a little bit of a longer combination. I like to do these in our class just to finish out. So we'll start with something basic. We're gonna just kind of layer some pieces on and turn this into a little bit of a longer combination to finish out class. Everyone good on that? Okay, here's what I'm looking for, please, to start off, all right? We're gonna go double jab to enter this distance, cross hook, finishing with our hook to the body. So watch me real quick, starting from a little farther away. Double jab to get in, cross hook, to get the opponent's hands up, when the opponent's guard is up, this opens up, my liver is shot underneath. Okay, so one more time, double jab, gets me inside, cross hook, loading up for my body shot underneath. Start with this for 30 seconds, we're gonna add on after. On three, one, two, three, let's go. Good speed if you're shadow boxing. Faint, faint move, and then really go. Work on your entry speed. Come in fast. If you guys are hitting a bag or pads. Touch the double jab with the cross hook hard and rip the body shot. It's a free shot for us. Okay, let's add on. Look in here. Double jab, cross hook. Opens up my body shot underneath. I'm going to take my rear uppercut, hook, cross, back through the center of the guard after. Once we attack the body, we come back to the head. Okay, so watch here. As I throw the body shot, I'm kind of punching through to my uppercut. I'm not reloading, because now I won't be in position for the uppercut. Small but important detail here. So one more time. Double jab, cross hook. That's up my body shot. Punch through. One, two, three, back up top to finish. Good, on three, one, two, three. If you guys are on a bag, throw the uppercut in front of the bag. Throw it in front of the bag. Make it a vertical uppercut in front. Couple more, couple more. Good, Gino. Yes, 
Gino, you, know, you can also make it a shovel if you want to the body. You can go straight in on the, yeah, that's okay. You guys can also make it a shovel instead of an uppercut. If you're on the bag, you can shovel straight in. Good, son. Good. Nice, Ed, good speed. That's what I'm looking for. I want speed when you guys are shadow boxing. Okay, add the switch knee and the rear elbow to finish. Let's look in real quick. Good, Lisa, good speed. Double jab, cross hook. Body shots, up across. Switch knees, rear elbow to finish over the top. One more time, let's look at it from the other side here. Double jab, cross hook to enter. This gets my hands high. Body shot comes underneath. Up hook cross. Left knee, right elbow over the top. Good. On three. One, two, three. Got it. Let's go. Uppercut hook cross, Nate. Uppercut hook cross. Yes, sir. Left knee. Right elbow. Now angle off to your left after the elbow. Just step off. Yes, sir. Create another angle. Left knee, right elbow. Nice. Good, Mikey. Finish with the single leg, Mikey. Through the wall. Good speed, Lisa. Yeah, very nice. Beautiful. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Good, Jessica. Left knee, finish with the elbow. Beautiful. Good, Brandon. Good speed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice, Will. Good, Carlo. Good, Mike. See it, Hudson. Cross hook, liver shot. Up hook cross. Uh, yeah, uppercut hook cross. Yes, switch knee. Beautiful, finish with the right elbow as you step down. Yeah, it's beautiful, very nice. Amrita, very good. Nice, Dennis. Good, Ashley. Guys, time, fantastic job. Very good. Thank your training partner. If you have a par training partner, if not, quick wide, take your gloves off real quick. Great job, guys. Come back right away. I'm gonna crank one out here before we finish class. Last couple minutes. All right, guys. Very nice work today. Just a couple options. Remember when we talk about counters, it's gonna depend on your body type, what you're good at, right? Your, your opponent's body type, what they're good at, what you're trying to accomplish, what the game plan is in the fight. So there's a lot of variables that go into it, right? I don't like preset counters because everything is not gonna work for everybody. But you have to know a couple options off of every counter or off of every defense. So that way when we get into sparring competition, we go, okay, we went over that before. I know that I have something in my toolbox that I can show you, okay? But that does not mean, okay, I block the hook every time and I come back with cross hook cross every single time. It's not going to work, right? Sometimes maybe I have to block the hook and I have to return with the knee. Sometimes I block and return with the elbow. Sometimes I block and I do punch back. It depends. It's all going to be circumstantial. We have to have enough tools in our toolbox to pull out the right one in the right situation. In every round in sparring, that situation is going to change too, right? So it comes back to the most important thing is knowing the defense first. You know, we got to block the hook before we can do anything else after, the, after that, right? Um, all right, let's finish out with our body weight exercises here, okay? Same thing we did last week. We're going 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Five exercises to finish out class. Everyone good on that? 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Five minutes, give me a good push to finish out class, please, okay? The first exercise, we're doing our squat to our back step lunge, alternating sides. Squat, back step lunge. Everyone ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 40 seconds here. Finish with a good push, guys.
Good form, good form. Try to push yourselves just a little bit here with these. Remember, we have rest. 10 seconds coming up on the rest. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Very nice. Okay, next exercise. We have our push up to our four count mountain climber. Let's watch Abby here real quick. Push up. One, two, three, four. Push up. One, two, three, four. Everyone good on that? One push up, four count mountain climber, okay? Three, two, one, begin. Full push up, nice strong push up, right into your four count mountain climber. Good. Let's finish, finish strong, guys. Let's go. Nice, Coach Dustin. Yes, sir. Can't really correct anyone's form. Everyone's the leather camera right now. I trust that you're doing it right. Nice, Nate. Good form. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Good time. Stay seated. We're going to go to crunches next on your backs. We're going to go with our standard bicycle crunch. Knee to elbow, alternating sides. 10 seconds. Bicycle crunches on your back. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's work. Let's go, bicycles. Good, good, good. Let's go. Give me a good push here, guys. Finish strong. Allison, you can do something else, whatever you want. Mix up another exercise. Good, let's go, let's go, nice coach. Good, Mari, nice George. Good, Rachel, good extension there too, very nice. Good, Nate. Five seconds. And time, pop up. Okay, good, here's what I'm looking for this time, guys. Straight punches at a good pace, full extension out, okay? When I say sprawl, if you have to kick the space, you're gonna kick back into a sprawl, you're gonna come right back up into your straight punches, all right? Let's take a look at how this is gonna look, all right? Abby's behind me, straight punches, full extension. Good pace on it, good speed, sprawl. Kick back, we're up, we're right back into our punches. Everyone good? Three, two, one, let's work. Straight punches, full extension. All the way out, all the way out, and I want good speed, tuck that chin down. Sprawl. Good, back up, right into our punches. Full extension on these punches, guys. No T-Rex arms. All the way out, extend that arm all the way. Sprawl. Sprawl. Good, 10 seconds, sprawl. Sprawl. Time, recover. Nice work, guys. Okay, we're short on time. We're finishing only with 20 seconds of burpees. That's half of our normal time. 20 seconds of burpee, so give me a good pace here, please. Three, two, one. 20 seconds of burpees, go to work, let's go. This is the last thing we're doing, make it count, come on. Push, push, push. You got 10 seconds and we're done, let's go. Five seconds, come on. Three, two, and one, time. Great job, guys. Nice work. Big breath. Stand up tall. Shake it out for a second. Good. All right, guys. Let's, li let's line up. Let's stand up nice and tall here. Guys, fantastic job. Thank you all once again for joining me for class tonight. It's great seeing all you guys. 
Honestly, this is one of my favorite parts of the week right now. I know it's not the same as being in the academy. We keep saying that, right? I miss training. This is what we have right now. So let's make the most of these sessions, right? It's great seeing all of you guys from all the different locations on here, even if it's a couple times a week. I really love watching these sessions and getting to see everyone train. So whenever we end up back in the academy, it's obviously going to be a great day. I'm super excited for it. And it sounds like it's going to be sooner than later right now, right? But as of right now, this is what we have. Let's make the most of these training sessions, right? We have the opportunity to come back to class in really good shape. I'm excited to see the shape that some people are going to be in when we come back to these classes and see how sharp our skills are going to be. Okay, um, going along those lines, obviously, we, you know, we've had some news regarding what it's going to look like next month. Um, you know, stay tuned for some announcements from us at Easton within the next coming days. We're meeting about this stuff this week. We don't exactly have to figure it out yet, okay, but we are coming up with some really good solutions to start getting people back into the academy if it is just a little bit at a time. This will definitely still be an option, right? People aren't going to be able to come back to the academy. They may not feel comfortable just yet. That's completely fine. We will still have the Zoom classes available for you. I know that for sure. Everything else, we're going to continue to work out. So just be patient with us and stay tuned for the, the announcements. Um, you know, we're trying as best as we can. And we really, really want to see everyone back in as soon as possible. So that's all I have for you guys. Once again, thank you so much for joining me and Abby tonight for class. And I will see you guys next week. Okay, hands together, feet together. Thank you guys. I'm going to hang out for another 15 minutes or so. If you guys want to shoot the shit or ask any questions, hang on. I'll be here.